Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the City of Linwood and the Recreation and Community Services Department, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to Yvonne Burke, John D. Ham Park. This allows people to congregate in a park safely. Our kids can play, senior citizens can come together, kids can run around. I mean, it provides recreational opportunities for our children. So it's, this is a wonderful opportunity for recreation, wonderful opportunity for public health benefits for our kids. Ham Park was originally going to be called Lugo, Don San Antonio Lugo Park. Two young boys saw upon themselves to take exception to that because we had a great mayor and council member in a man by the name of John D. Ham. My dad, he uh, he came here and started this restaurant in, with his father in 1947, and he loved uh, the city and uh, got married here, had three children here, and ran for city council. So in 1965, they presented their petition to the city council with 110 names, two young people, 11 and 9 years old. City council said, with this kind of backing for such a man, let's name the park after John D. Ham. In 2003, the city of Linwood, the school district, and the Alley County entered in a three-party agreement for the transfer of Ham Park to the school district for the purpose of constructing a new school. When I found out they were tearing the park down, the, the, the last park, I was kind of bummed because I thought they wouldn't make another park. It was a matter of giving up what was the Ham Park for the school district. The city spent $35.9 million on the replacement of Ham Park. Of that total budget, $29 million was spent on acquisition of properties and relocation of tenants. So the county was able to put monies in to assist and also to provide our public works department to try to move this along. With AB 31, we're able to access dollars so we can create open space, parks in low-income neighborhoods throughout the state of California. We had a lot of negotiations, but it was agreed that the state would provide money for this park. But then it was not enough money. The actual construction of the park cost $3.8 million. But it's wonderful that it has come this far in very difficult times when money is very scarce. And he would go around the area. He had an ice cream truck that he delivered to restaurants and markets. He'd go around the area passing out free ice cream, vote for Johnny Ham, uh, and he got to be known as Johnny Ham the Ice Cream Man, handing out free ice creams, trying to get votes. The replacement is nine acres. This park is nine acres. Across the street, we have one acre. And he won the next time, and won for 11, 10 years, 10, 11 years after that, until he passed away in office. In honor and recognition of the grand opening of Yvonne Burke, John D. Ham Park, presented this 12th day of September, 2009, in honor of the dedication of Yvonne Burke, John D. Ham Park. This is from the mayor and the city council. Congratulations, and thank you very much. Park has a baseball field. It's actually an all-purpose field, so we can use it for soccer, baseball. We have a tiny tot area. We have a jogging path, and we have different exercise um, stations as you go along the path. So the whole idea is for people to come out here. The children play. Moms could be, you know, walking down the trail as their children are playing. Keep an eye on them. It's, it's two things. Number one, it's obviously physical activity. Uh, we know that in our communities. Uh, we have higher incidences of obesity, diabetes, other uh, bad health indicators. Uh, having a park allows people to go out and do something physical, be, be running, uh, skateboarding, whatever it is, walking. It, it helps people's health to be out and about. And secondly, in terms of community building, it helps people to get out of their houses and see who's, who their neighbors are. The young people of Linwood deserve a park because they gave up a park. So, because it shouldn't matter who you are, where you come from, the neighborhood you live in, so you should get access to nature, to green parks, to recreation. And I think this is a beautiful victory for the residents of the city of Linwood. Just to see this facility, the way it's 
built and all the families that are here now enjoying it. But it's wonderful that it has come this far in very difficult times when money is very scarce. I'm really happy and I know that the residents, I think they will take ownership and they will make sure that this park stays clean. The city of Linwood is going to be able to apply for more dollars so they can hopefully complete as soon as possible a recreation center for all the children, for all the kids, for all the youth here in the city of Linwood. People of Linwood deserve a beautiful, beautiful facility. A place to play, a place to come together, a place to have picnics, all of the things that make the difference in a community. Just want to say thank you, thank you for being here. Uh, we appreciate your participation. Most importantly, you take care of the park. This is your park. Eh, por último, los dejo gracias a todos ustedes que tengan un bonito día.